land abundance. What a great day to be alive. I think I'll kick my shoes off and head outside. Beautiful sunshine, bright blue sky, a bit of breeze through the trees where the fruit hangs. Feel the vibes, cause every minute of this life is truly a gift. So I'ma live it with intention and never forget. Cause there's so much to explore and take advantage of. So live your life to the fullest and fill your heart with love. We're all one, ain't that the truth? And a connected I respect it forming deep roots. Welcome back, everybody. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Hope everyone's having a great start to your weekend. Alice and I sure am. We're out here in the backyard food forest enjoying this beautiful, gorgeous day, soaking in the positive vibrations, just letting nature fill us up with all the goodness, all the good stuff. So we're munching away, doing a bit of grazing. So the name of the game today while we're out here enjoying the garden, enjoying the beautiful weather is to get a little bit of work done as well. On the agenda is doing a bit of cleanup, a bit of summer reset, getting ready for fall. And one of the items that needs to get done as soon as possible is to start cleaning off some of these vining squash plants, these winter squash like the kabocha, which have provided for us wonderfully throughout the summer thus far. And although they're still producing some squash, they're still vining and getting longer, a lot of the plant is starting to dry out a bit and we've got enough squash actually from these plants so i'm going to start taking some of these out and collecting the squash that we have now and clearing an opening space so that we can plant some fall crops that will grow into the winter so some greens things like swiss chard spinach and then also want to plant uh, some beets some daikon radish some parsley cilantro romaine lettuce uh, definitely want to do a bit more growing this fall into winter than i've done in the past because for one, I'm still on the raw food diet, guys. I've been doing raw food for almost two and a half months now and absolutely enjoying and loving every minute of it. I want to keep it going as long as I can. And part of my success is having a garden where I've got fresh vegetables to harvest at any time. So here we've got one of Alice's squashes that she planted from store-bought kabocha seed. And this reminds me of the blue Hakito squash. I can just about guarantee you the inside is going to look just like the kabocha. It's actually got a bluish tinge here too. This will be interesting. This reminds me of a donut peach in the shape. Here, hand it to me. Starting here. It's a nice one. What you got over there? <laughs> Gigantic zucchini. Oh my god, I don't know if I can. I'm gonna have to make a juice with that. Oh wow. There are two, it's supposed to be closer.
very nice looking harvest deer. What can I you don't say? Know, I don't know which one I have to cook for tonight. You, I can cook back bed. I can make torta. I can cook opal. I can cook squash. Different kind, but you know, once in a day. And I'll make quick work of these large zucchinis. What I like to do is throw them through the juicer or to make large noodles, I'll just use a peeler because it won't fit in a spiralizer. But you can peel these down and get a nice bowl of noodles.